excellent morning to every one of us happy weekend and excellent morning happy weekend and excellent morning how are we doing i hope our weekend is going on great and i hope you are enjoying your weekend all right so we are all highly welcome to this morning's broadcast we are back life 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 now everyday life today well not every day but <laughs> every session that we have now we are going live today we are going to be looking at some exercises for people who are having osteoarthritis or people who want to prevent osteoarthritis okay that's what we're doing today so if you're having osteoarthritis of the knee especially that's what we're going to handle today you need exercises remember i say it's all comprehensive it's not just one thing that takes you out or reverses your osteoarthritis there are so many you know things you need to do so you're all highly welcome today we're going to be doing practical sessions showing you some of those practical exercises you can do seated you can do standing and you can do lying so <laughs> lying down so it's um it's a full day but before then i'd like you to share if you join me live you can greet good morning so i can welcome you to this morning's broadcast and kindly help me to share 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 to your friends share to your communities share to your neighbors share to your family you know and if it's one of my coaches she will say also share to your enemies <laughs> but may god keep us out of having enemies because the bible says you should be at peace with men as much as lieth in your strength and if you actually try you will have no enemy so you're highly welcome are you happy remember if it doesn't make you happy change it doesn't make you happy change it happy 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 you know i was talking with someone yesterday and she was like she's not been sleeping she's not been you know so by the time i kept asking her questions just in and allowing her relax it was at the last moment that the truth came out okay and you know i was just telling her some of those things that you need to be happy you need to make yourself happy you need that joy so that you will be able to have that dopamine you know hormone that will suppress that stress cortisol that will, is not making you to sleep very well all right so we're all highly welcome let me not talk too much we need to share 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 so if you've not shared kindly help me share now share to your story so that people can join us okay share to your uh, facebook feed so that people can join us just share so that you can help a life you know there's there's joy in sharing there's actually joy in sharing and sharing that can be what will make someone well and healthy and you would have been a contributor to it i have a lot of people that say this person referred me to you and wow i thank god for that person that made me meet you okay so it's good for us to share 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 we're going to it's not going to be a very long session so just um, kick up that share link and just share to as many people as possible now hello those on instagram hello those on facebook hello those on on youtube with us this morning so as god we have it the network is very good and so we are having all the sessions um we're having all the um platforms ready today so you can join us live in any of them all right so you're highly welcome who is live with me so i can welcome you to this morning's broadcast in any of the platform but meanwhile my whatsapp number is plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two so that i don't forget it while i get going all right so um like i said today we are looking at some exercises that will help us if you're having osteoarthritis or if you want to prevent osteoarthritis i'm going to be talking a, a bit about um the theoretical part then i will get up and show you the practical part and sometimes maybe i will lie down okay i'll do the lying down last so that um that will be ending it lying down and then getting up and doing the last sitting or standing all right so arthritis generally it's a disease that causes pain it will cause pain on your joints sometimes it comes with swelling and stiffness in your joints and the bad thing about it is that it also affects the largest and the strongest joints in your body okay and it's common very very common with 
in the knees, especially when one is getting older. Because as you're getting older, you've already, um, with the weight, with the age, you know, as you're getting older, you need more calcium because your um, body is not actually producing that calcium again. You need calcium supplement, and then your bones are getting um, weak and brittle, which they call osteoporosis. Okay, so with all that, arthritis is bound to come. So prevention, like I always say, is better, is safer, is cheaper than cure. It's better for you to start some of these exercises on time. Add them to your routine exercises so it can help you. But of course, we know that the commonest part of osteoarthritis for people who are growing up is mainly knuckles for the women, because we use a lot of our hands, our knees, because of the weight, we are, the knees are bearing on our hips. A lot of women have big wee hips, you know, um, thighs and things like that. So these arthritis of the knees can actually be very dangerous. It can actually be very debilitating, you know, disease that we can bear. But although there is no singular cure, I will not, so that, I will not come out here and tell you that this exercise wants to do this exercise all your osteoarthritis will go. No, 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 no. It's all comprehensive. There are so many things you add to make sure you prevent osteoarthritis and make sure you manage osteoarthritis and make sure you reverse osteoarthritis. So I'll quickly show you those things and then we go through our exercises. Now, hey, I brought the wrong cream. <laughs> so I didn't look at it until now. Okay, let me see if it's in my bag. You can actually have that habit of applying some form of cream okay thank god i brought this back some form I, I brought my i brought up my normal cream because i just went to wear my lotions and i took it this moisturizing lotion since it can it has come out maybe there's someone here who needs this moisturizing lotion that it followed me from the room to this studio today all right so <laughs> this moisturizing lotion is fantastic i've used it if you if you're having dry skin Okay, so everywhere in my bag, if you're having dry skin, make sure you get aloe moisturizing lotion. It has that uh, um, moisturizer and it has the aloe vera gel that helps drive the moisturizer through to the seventh layer of your skin. So, you know, supple, very, very supple. You won't see dryness anywhere. Moisturizing lotion. Okay, anyway, but we're talking about osteoarthritis and i said there is no singular cure there's not one thing you will do and then osteoarthritis will reverse or osteoarthritis will be managed or osteoarthritis of the knee will be you know prevented there are so many things to do now some of those things that i will briefly describe with for us if you're going on a long stressful trip if you're going to stay in the vehicle for a long time or in the plane for a long time or you're going to walk about the market for a long time get your aloe heat lotion this becomes my cream i just keep my moisturizing lotion a bit before i leave the house this will be my cream i'll use it to massage my fingers my elbow my joints my knees my ankles i'll massage everywhere ahead of time because prevention is better than cure so that those um nutrients that i need the aloe will help take it into your skin seven layers and make sure that they are lubricated and they are okay for the trip it will add that extra you no know, movement or help the blood to move better so prevention remember i'm talking about prevention management and reversal of osteoarthritis using some exercises but i'm telling you that it's not just that exercise it's comprehensive another one sometimes i mix these two i have this my msm gel and heat lotion sometimes i mix the two together and massage because msm is another nutrient that is needed by the body and it also helps a lot in lubricating our joints okay and if you you can have use any you can combine them all right so that's one then another thing remember i'm talking about prevention management and and reversal now another thing is that supplements are absolutely very important also we have this our forever move and active ha these two go hand in hand to help you prevent if you want to stay away from osteoarthritis and it will not even come your way make sure you make this your daily daily dietary supplement they don't have overdose start early to take it especially if you have a history in your family of osteoarthritis 
Start early to prevent it. Don't wait until it comes before you begin to do something about it. Use these two as your daily dietary supplement or you can use only one. If it's for prevention, for management, you need the two. For reversal, you need the two. But if you're managing, you can just get one and make it your daily dietary supplement. And I tell you, huh, it will give you all those nutrients that you need that will help prevent osteoarthritis from coming to you. Remember that age will tell. So that's what I said I should share with us. Then we have this one for Forever Freedom is a drink, especially for those who have normal blood pressure and also for those who, um, who have hypertension, okay? If you have hypertension, that's low blood pressure or you have normal blood pressure, this will help you a lot, especially if you don't like taking like um, tablets or capsules in. All right, so that's what I just wanted to share with us that exercise alone cannot do it. You need comprehensive help. But the best exercise program for anyone would also depend on your need. And that's why you need to also consult experts before you go into any exercise. The first exercise we are going to do today is the standing leg lift, okay? The standing leg lift. Now, for the standing leg lift, you will stand, a uh, standing um, leg lift improves your stability. It improves your balance. Remember, like I told us, like your exercise ball. Exercise ball, if, if, if you noticed, as long as I'm sitting on this exercise ball, I'm not going to slog. I'm not going to sit in a bad posture manner. I must sit straight because the exercise ball forces you to sit straight. It forces you to maintain a good posture and that's why i also tell people who are in working in offices where they sit a lot working in the market okay you have a shop you have to sit a lot to attend to people get exercise ball i do it here okay if i sit for one and a half hours to two hours i move away my chair and i get my exercise ball and i sit on my exercise ball that's why how many years you you can't hear me saying waste to did this waste to did the other one because of this ball i keep sitting on and doing the exercises so even if you do the exercises from time to time and you sit for long it will just not have so much positive effect so try not to sit on static chairs for long so this first exercise the standing leg lift that i will show you we help you to manage arthritis, help you to reverse arthritis, help you to prevent arthritis, and also improve your stability, your balance, and your strength. Now, this exercise, you know, it can also, it's very, very important for you because it helps you, like I said, to maintain your balance, maintain your stability, maintain your strength, and reduce the impact on your knees. So if you want to do, I'm still going to show it to you, but let me just say it briefly. Stand against a wall. I'm going to move backward to the wall now. Raise a leg to the side without rotating the toes, okay, to the side. And then keep the toes pointing forward and slightly slanted. Avoid leaning on the stationary side. And then lower the leg and repeat 15 to 20 times on each side of your leg, okay? And if you're just doing it newly, you can repeat 10 times. And then you can now begin to increase your, your, the way you do it. So let me go to the wall and show us. Right, so if I'm on the wall, I hope you all see me. I try to set my camera. It's only this one that is trying. I try to set my camera, but God will help me today. <laughs> Okay, I think this has gotten it. All right, so you lift your leg, okay? Like I'm going to be using my right leg first. For those of you who are starting nearly, you can lean on the wall so that you won't fall. But if not, you come off the wall a bit. So let me lean on the wall and show you. Lift this your leg, okay? Slant it a bit like this. And then you take it up as high as you can. So that's why I say lean on the wall if you only take it, bring it down, take it up, bring it down, take it up, bring it down. Okay? When you lean on the wall and you do it, do it like 10 to 20 times and you're getting used to it, you can leave off the wall. Okay? I'm not leaning on the wall now. I'm just standing on my knee and putting my weight on that knee. I still bring out my leg and then lift it, take it down. Lift it, take it down. Lift it, take it down. And make sure you're standing straight. Don't slow. 
your posture must be very right. So when you finish with the right leg, you also use the left leg. Remember, if you're just starting so you don't wobble or fall, lean on the wall. Lift your leg, pointing your toes and slanted a bit out, and then you lift it up and take it back. Lift it up and take it out. You will feel that pain on your outer thigh, okay? And a bit, a little on your buttocks a bit. And again, if you stretch your leg well, you're also going to feel a little of that pain. Don't let it be much on your ankle. So you do it up to like 10 times. So let's take the left leg on the wall, standing straight. The wall helps you to keep straight, okay? Make sure you take in your abs. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then you take your right leg again and you do it. Make sure you're standing straight a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This will actually help your tie, help to frame up your tie, help also for your muscles there to be okay, and then also make sure that you're exercising this place. And if you do it like um, every day, you will find out that it gets easier, it gets smoother, and you're beginning to feel very, very much well and better there, okay? So that's the first exercise, which is our standing lift exercises, okay? Standing leg lift. All right, so the second exercise is the sit and stand. Is the sit and stand exercise. That's the second exercise that can help you. I'm already sweating. When you take plenty of water, it helps with lubrication. It helps with detoxification and also helps you because when you sweat, all that toxins will leave your system. All right, so let me see if any, um, welcome those who have joined us while I was. Osua Buviki Child, you're welcome. Welcome to this evening's or this morning's broadcast. <laughs> As we do our exercises that can help osteoarthritis and please help me to share, share, share. You can still greet if you're watching the um, replay and put replay and you can still also ask your exercises. So the second exercise for today is the sit and stand and there are two types of the sit and stand I'm going to show us, okay? For people, beginners, people who are just starting, I'll show you and people who had also, um, um, done um done it and they are you're getting used to it so the target for the stand and sit and stand is your front tie and then your buttocks your front tie and your buttocks and when you do these exercises repeat it it's going to improve the range of your knee movements it's going to improve the range of your knee movements and especially your leg strength it's always good for you to build in stamina in your muscles. When you're building that stamina and strength in your muscles, it helps to reduce fat deposits in such places, okay? And over time, it will become easier for you to stand up without pain. There are some people that after they have sat, when they are sitting, they are holding their waist. Hey, hey, ah, ah. Old age is not like that now. You can enjoy this old age. You can enjoy this middle age without all this complaint here and there. I don't even understand some of us. Anyway, the sit and stand. Sit straight in a chair with the feet flat on the floor. And then you cross the arms over your chest if you have been doing it before. And then you stand up straight slowly. Don't be in a hurry. And then you sit also back slowly. So when you sit and start, sit and start, you can repeat this several times for like one minute. Now, the first one for people who are new, you can use the chair with arms. So let me get my office chair and show you. So if I bring this my office chair, chair now, I'm going to remove the fitness board to the corner.
All right, I wanted to put on the light. Okay, so with this chair now, if you're doing the the sitting, sit and the sit and stand exercise. If you're doing it, if, if you're new, let me move. Like, I hope we're all sitting here. So with this chair now, if you're new, you hold your hands on your on the handle of the chair, okay? Put your legs together and then your your two knees are together. You slowly get up. And then you slowly sit, holding the arms of the chair, okay? So you will feel you're not doing anything as if okay, I'm just sitting and standing, but it's going to help your range. The range of motion of your knees okay so you hold it again stand and sit you can count 10 times stand three and sit four stand and sit five so you do it 10 to 20 times every day all right but when you have become um mastered it and your knees are getting better everywhere is getting better you don't need a chair with an arm so let me move back my office chair so what you will now use will be an armless chair so let's get this armless chair okay fitness ball is not staying in place so you now use this armless chair how do you do it you put your hands on your chest, over, cross it over your chest, and then you get up. One, two, slowly, don't be too fast. Three, four, five, like that so you just continue and continue like that over time to make sure that you actually get used to it so that's the sit and stand exercise that you can do which is number two remember i said i was going to show you five today already sweaty these exercises are good for you you know add add up every day they will help you with the calories they will help you to lose all that you need to lose. All right, so that's the second exercise. The third one would be the kickback. The kickback exercise. And before we do it, I think I should take in some calories. So I'm going to mix my normal Saturday breakfast. Okay, those of us who join me live on Saturdays already know what my breakfast is. So I'm trying to get it. One sachet of my super green. One sachet of my RG Plus. And then a scoop, which I've already scooped, of my light ultra. That gives me my smoothie and breakfast for Saturday. <laughs> Alright, so how do we go about it? Since I've already started with my powder base, I'm going to add my my IG plus one such of my IG plus one such of my super green And then I'm going to add water. So I'll just add a bit of water and shake it all up before I add my remaining water. So I'll add my remaining water. Grab tissue from the office section.
right? So easy, fast, on the go. That's what I call it. <laughs> and thanks to Forever Living Company for always doing promo. I got this my bottle during one of the promos. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take my juice and then we will do kickback and the remaining other two. energy field nutrient dense exciting delicious you're living healthy and you're enjoying your health anyway so kickback is the standing leg kickbacks that i'm going to show us and the standing leg kickback you know you perform it standing and it helps to improve your leg your leg muscles and then to reduce stiffness on your knees reduce stiffness of your muscles okay especially your back thigh it helps your back thigh and this exercise is also great for strengthening the leg muscles and reducing the stiffness in the leg okay so you stand up and you stand straight up lift one foot and bend the knee okay you lift one foot up and you bend the knee to be bringing the heel towards your buttocks i'm going to show you you hold it for a few seconds then you now lower the legs and the and the knees should be aligned to your posture straight you repeat it 10 to 25 times and perform these sessions a few times a day it's not as if you do it only once you do it a few times a day all right so i'm going to show you and to make it easier for you you can also use the wall again if you're starting and doing the exercise for the first time okay you can use the wall and when you now get used to it you can go off the wall also remember when you're lifting your leg you bend your knee slightly to do it so i'm going to be backing us to show us how to do this and also um showing us how to do it because um i'm going to be backing the wall because i'm going to be holding the wall um, is there anyone? Ruth Philip, you have joined us. Welcome. Welcome. Zoba Owa Owa Neme. Welcome. Lydia Oladi Pupo, you're welcome. You're all highly welcome to this morning broadcast. Ruth, how are you? How is Abuja, Abuja doing? All right, so help me share, share, share while I show us how to do this. You can do it standing, holding the wall. And when you get used to it, you can do it without holding the wall. So, uh, let me be sure we're seeing me. All right, yeah, we are. Okay, so you hold the wall, stand straight while holding the wall, okay? And then you lift your legs and bend your knee a bit, pointing your toe outward, okay? And make sure you're standing straight. And then you bring it back. You do the same. Two, three, four five you do it like ten times and then you go over to the second um leg okay while standing straight make sure you're not slogging or stand um your posture is not right so the next leg stand straight one two Three, four, five. Okay? So holding the wall, that helps you to do it. But if you're already used to it, you can hold your hands at Kimbo. Okay? If you hold your hands at Kimbo, you can still do the exercise. If you're already, you're, you're stable, you're balanced. Okay? Holding your hand at Kimbo, making sure you're standing straight, you can still lift and bring it down one <laughs> shaking this will test your stability one let me concentrate now two three four five then you do the next leg again okay you do the next leg again concentrate and make sure this will show um, how stable you are. I've already checked the stability of my left leg holding my whole body. Let's check the right now. 
If you are not stable, hold the wall. If you are stable, hold your hands akimbo. And make sure that each time you are exercising, you are sweating it off, okay? Sweating it off and having fun. If it doesn't make you smile, change it. I want to reward myself by taking my fast and on the go smoothie that I just made using my Light Ultra. What I'm holding in my bottle for those of us that joined us is this three on the go healthy, nutritious, dense smoothie that you can have without going to grind anything. Your Super Green has 20 fruits and vegetables. So I don't need to cut spinach, I don't need to cut broccoli, I don't need to cut, um, put some barley grass, I don't need to put cranberry, I don't need to put cabbage, onion, mang um, mangosteen, pumpkin, beets, you know, all this, goji powder, 22 fruits and vegetables, fantastic nutritious dish. And then I have my cardiovascular, super vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin K, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, that is fantastic, l -RGD. And of course, I have my 18 amino acids, okay, that is also filled with vitamins. So having this in the morning gives me the nutrient I need for the morning, gives me all the nutrition I need and gives me the energy and keeps me healthy, all right? So that's it. So we go to number four exercise for today. Our fourth exercise for today is the clam, okay? And the clam exercise, I'm going to lie down. I think everything is well positioned for me. It's only this camera that will go down. So for the clam, it's performed lying down and it strengthens your buttocks, okay? And um, it targets your buttocks and it strengthens your buttocks. The knee strain is often at least partially due to weak buttocks. When you're having strain or osteoarthritis of the knee is also because of your buttock. Some people because it's too heavy and it's loading the knee, or some people it's not tight, it's not firm enough, and it's loading the knee. All the other weight goes on the knee, resulting from um, in the knee absorbing too much shock. So when your knees absorb too much shock, you need that strengthening of your buttock that will lead to less impact on your knees that's why the clam exercise is very good and the thing about it is that it's so good that you can have it on bed before you get up so you lie on one side of your body you bend the hip and the knees to 90 degrees with your shoulder and hip and feet aligned okay and i'm going to do this alignment using the wall so when you now get used to doing the alignment using the wall you can now change okay then you keep the feet together then you now lift your your lift up your knees as far as possible and then you now lower it okay you now lower it and you hold the stretch for like five seconds you 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 hold the stretch like for five, like five seconds so i'm going to do it for us now and um, going on the floor so as i go on the floor now i'll show us how to do this and of course doing it um Am I not? Um, oh, okay. It's only this camera that I will need to move. There are three.